Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. Today on Jedi TV, let's take a moment to address a viewer's request. Nick J asks, can you give us a tour of your ammo storage and how you do it? Absolutely, Nick. Let's take a look. When I built my gun room, I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of room for ammo storage in the actual secure gun room itself. At the same time, while researching for my toy museum build, I discovered these IKEA calyx shelves, which were originally designed to hold record albums so they can take a lot of weight. And you may recall it's the same shelving system that I used for my hat storage because the size and shape makes the calyx perfect for that use. But back to the ammo storage. I knew I wanted to use this wall for ammo storage, but I hadn't fully determined how I was gonna go about it until I came upon this red calyx shelf on OfferUp. Now, I hadn't seen this color available at Ikea, but if you will recall, Ikea was closed during most of my building and remodeling process. I had to buy about 90% of what you see both in this room and in the toy museum from either Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. Anyways, the red matched perfectly with the theme of the room, and I figured the calyx could withstand the weight of the ammo. So from there, it was just a matter of organizing things the way I wanted it on the shelves. I use this IKEA shelf to hold all of the main calibers I load for. That includes my match ammo, as well as the ammo I supply for Kook and Miss Harley. All of the ammo, with the exception of the 45 ACP and the Schofield ammo, is loaded with black powder. My smokeless ammo is stored elsewhere, either in the top of my gun cabinet or in this little ammo box over here. The majority of what I load is black powder for cowboy action. So that's what this ammo storage shelf is used for. And it starts with 32 H&R, which as you'll recall, is for Miss Harley's revolvers. All she has to do is grab a couple of the 50 round green boxes for a match and she's ready to go. And once those 50 round boxes are emptied, I reload them out of these bulk containers stored on the same shelf. Next to that is the 3220, which is used by both Miss Harley and Kook. 3220 is stored in these red 50 round containers. And again, those are filled from the large ammo box stored on the same shelf with them. Then there's 38 Special, which Kook and I use for our revolvers. It's stored in the same manner, blue 50 round boxes for main match ammo. And again, those are refilled out of the bulk ammo container here on the shelf. Next is 4440, which is for all of my main match rifles. And I like using these 50 round boxes for my main match ammo. I grab two for each caliber that I'm shooting that day and they fit conveniently in my gun cart. And there isn't room for a bulk refill container on the shelf for the 4440, so I keep it stored beside the shelf here. My 45 ACP is stored in these blue 100 round boxes. Typically they're set up in rows of seven since that's how I load my magazines for Wild Bunch. And I don't shoot a lot of 45 ACP at this point, so there isn't any bulk ammo storage for this caliber. But maybe I should rethink the amount of 45 ACP I have on hand. The next shelf is set up for 45 Schofield and 45 Colt. I'm not currently loading for either of these calibers. I'm set up to do 45 Colt, but I'm looking at changing that formula to see if I can find a good load for my little Schofields. And I used to load 45 Colt quite a bit back when Miss Harley had a rifle chambered in that caliber, but since that's no longer the case, I don't have anything other than the Schofields, and since they don't really love black powder, well, I'm getting a little off topic here, so I'll just leave it at, I'm working on putting together something for those revolvers eventually. Next is 4570 for my Plainsman rifles. There is no bulk storage for that. I just keep enough ammo on hand to get me through a couple of side matches. Then there's Miss Harley's 20 gauge, Longtime viewers of this show know that I've tried to get her to make the switch to 12 gauge like Kook and I shoot, but Harley loves her Stoger 20s and wants nothing to do with 12 gauge. 
So I keep a small supply of 20 gauge black powder on hand and available whenever she wants to go shooting. Then finally, there's 12 gauge. My main match ammo is transported in these 25 round boxes with the bulk being in ammo containers next to the ammo shelf. And there you have it. Nick J, I hope that answered your question. If you and the rest of you enjoyed this look at my ammo storage, then please give this episode a thumbs up by hitting that like button. It's a small act that does big things for the channel. And if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll see you down there. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time.